Welcome inside the service arena here in downtown Red Deer on a Monday night. It is the Red Deer Vipers taking on the Padoka Stampeders. Robert Mijetti making his fifth consecutive start. And uh, even though Padoka plays yesterday uh, without uh, any wins in the column, Kind of forced to go back to him. Brandon Bilodeau makes his first start, though, with bound back-to-backs since the season opener. Hoping to rectify a, a, a tough out. It certainly wasn't his fault uh, in Sylvan Lake, but uh, Red Deer took a 7-2 loss on the chin. And uh, so certainly hoping to get back to, things back on track. We are underway here in Red Deer as Jacob Saylor. It's a good opportunity there. Bilodeau comes across and makes a blocker save. Here comes, Kit. this is Logan Linnell. Linnell in, shooting, stopped by Machetti. Just 48 seconds into this one. Face off right side of Robert Machetti. Run cleanly by Wilson, back to the line. Kalinowski and Wilson's got it. Kalinowski, LaPointe, Wilson, shoots, it goes wide. Here's Higgins, now put it up to Braden Plessens. Plessens through center for the Stamps. Plessens knocked off the puck, it'll come right back to Brody Kalinowski. Kalinowski gets over center, he's going to try to put this one in deep on Jordan Sears. It will rim back to Straub there, and now here comes Sears over to Higgins. Higgins now to Casey Straub. Straub through center. Gains the red line and puts this one in deep. Dalton Angle Twit has it for Red Deer and he will start out. Angle Twit to Brody Kalinowski. Kalinowski to the hard shot there. And this one will go all the way back into Red Deer territory. Comes down back to up to Declan Johnston. Johnston gains the line offensively for the Vipers. Stops up, goes to the line, Dalton Angle 20. Shoots it, blocker, save Michetti. Robert Michetti, he's been uh, certainly off, his Stampeders are off to a tough start, and uh, that has absolutely nothing to do with him. Is uh, He and his boys uh, took a tough loss in Mountain View, uh, but again, that has... Uh, Nothing to do with him. Sorry, they weren't in Mountain View. They were taking on the Airdrie Thunder. Well, they weren't. Who the heck were they playing? I'll figure it out. Back comes Antion. He shoots and it goes wide. Now on the near side, Jacoby. Here's Kelly now. Kelly for Padoka. Gave up to Jordan Jacoby. And it was Sylvan Lake. Sorry. They were in Sylvan Lake. And that game was tied most of it. The only reason it was tied was Robert Machetti. But here's a turnover. Brockerville. Good stop by Billado. Hasn't been in the net for a couple of days, but you wouldn't know it. Dalton Angle Twit comes back the other way for Red Deer. Now to Declan Johnston. Johnston turns the outlet over at the blue line to Kelly. Lane Sim has control for the Red Deer Vipers. Now it comes up to Jamie and Chopek. Chopek, he's got a man in the net. Chopek will take it himself. A glove save, Machetti. And he will hold on to that. Red Deer, as we mentioned, got off to a, a kind of a tough start. Dropping game one in Sylvan Lake. Won the next time out over Rocky and then uh, coughed up a two goal lead late. Lost in overtime to Airdrie. Uh, won in overtime yesterday uh, against the uh, Three Hills Thrashers. So, Red Deer a little bit up and down, but trying to get back uh, things back rectified here. A hard hit, and now James Lee's going to have to fight Spencer Yates. Lane Sim got crushed, and Yates goes right after Lee. Lee gets, takes one underneath and gives one. Over the top comes Yates. Yates pops the bucket off and now loses his own underneath Lee. Over the top, Yates. Over the top, Lee now. Throwing right here. Underneath comes Yates. Down goes James Lee. Good tilt there, <laughs> Spencer Yates firing up the crowd. Maybe that's what this Viper club needs. Lee crushed Lane Sim. And Spencer Yates goes right after James Lee. And Lane Sim, you know, will appreciate that. So Spencer Yates and James Lee will each grab a, a seat here. Five minute uh, little break. Jocelyn Scott out there with Jackson Goodall. And here come the Vipers over the line, the fourth line rush here, but offside. So that's uh, not great for Lane Sim. 
There's a Viper's mascot, Odie. As I mentioned earlier in the streams, named for former Viper assistant coach, the late great Cor Odegaard, legend in the Central Alberta hockey community. Legend in just the Central Alberta community. Overall legend. And uh, so I fi figured uh, we'd kind of pay tribute to uh, a great man who everybody misses quite a bit. Now here come the Stampeders over to the far side. Colton Myers. Oh, what a save made by Pilato! Clay Guthrie robbed and he cannot believe it. Billado came back across with the glove. Base off left side here of Brandon Billado. This will be won by the Red Deer Vipers and they will come back the other way. This is Logan Linnell. Linnell in a high slot there. Sullivan rang it off the post. Connor Sullivan looking to break our scoreless tie. Now this one will come to, uh, I believe this is Guthrie on the near side. He gets knocked off the puck. That was a Guthrie, excuse me. That's Colton Myers. Over to the far side, Logan Linnell. And Linnell starts out through center. Linnell over the line. He's got Wilson with him. Linnell cuts in. He rang it off the post as well. Red Deer, a couple of iron shots. One-timer now from the far side. Stopped by Machete, and he will hold on to that. Logan Linnell, that close to giving the Vipers a 1-0 lead. And he did it just seconds after Connor Sullivan rang it off the post as well. 4-2, Vipers lead in face-offs. Draw one cleanly by Declan Johnston. Matt Difference now, Difference to Johnston. One-timer, Brett Hoppus scores! Brett Hoppus rips one by Robert Machetti, And the Red Deer Vipers have a 1-0 lead. Great feed over to the near side to Brett Hoppus from Declan Johnston. And the Red Deer Vipers open the scoring. And you can feel that one coming. A couple of posts. Red Deer, they're all over it to start this game. And you know what? Red Deer not only wants to win this game, they're going to want to, you know, I know for a fact you're going to want to win by a wide margin. Hopefully run up the score a little bit. This team has just not got their legs underneath them yet, despite having a 500 record. Um, that's certainly a lot uh, lower than where the Vipers want to be. Here's Hoppus now to Declan Johnston, shooting. Glove save made by Robert Machetti, and he will hold on. 8-18 to go here in the first period. 1-0 Red Deer. Hoppus out there with Johnston and different still. And Johnston won it cleanly. Kalinowski off the line. Shot got blocked. Back come the Padoka Stampeders. And it comes over to Jordan Jacoby. Jacoby to Caden Gatz. Gatz, he is stripped up. And that will be touched up by Difference. Padoka going to a power play here. Brody Kalinowski is going to the penalty box for tripping. He will join Spencer Yates, who's still serving as fighting major. Good all on the draw out there with Tristan Zerubiak. Is, uh, looks like Lane Sim is not back yet. So that's not the best, as uh, Lane Sim, an important part of this team, uh, certainly on the penalty kill. But now here comes Tristan Zerubiak right over the line. Zerubiak trying to take this one the net but it's taken away from him here in Bullock gave it to Sailor now right to his good all good all drops this one off Kingwell good all takes this one into the middle taken away by Jordan Sears Sears back the other way great play defensively by Kingwell Chopek over to the far side Jackson good all the Silver Lake native tied up on the far side trying to dig this one loose is they will do so and now that is Chopek in front taken away from him though neatly by Jacob Sailor Sailor now got it to Jordan Sears. Sears shoots one. Good save by Billado. And flung the length of the ice by the Red Deer Vipers here. Here's Sailor now in the corner. Sailor pinched off there by Keegan Kingwell. Is Higgins. Has it out of the corner. Higgins shoots. Save. Rebound. Dropped down by Billado. And now turned over. Billado another save. Brandon Billado. 
comes in after being given a couple of games off in succession. And he's been playing really well so far. In the red, Deer Crease. Face off to the right side of Bilodeau here. We are back to even strength. Red Deer's killed the penalty. And there's Brody Kalinowski up to Logan Linnell. Linnell retreats back into his own zone. Goes over to the far side. Kayla Point. Now it comes to Dalton Angle Twin. Now to Logan Linnell. Linnell to Aiden Wilson. Linnell, Linnell backhander, save, rebound. Wilson put the rebound just wide. Linnell out of the corner. Wilson shoots. It's stopped by Robert Machetti. And he will hold on to that with four and a half to go here in the first. One nothing still for the Red Deer Vipers. Face off right side of Robert Michetti. Draw one cleanly here, and now it's James Lee to Dakota Sullivan. Sullivan now turns this one over, however. Declan Johnston in there, dug loose, and now here comes Caden Gatz. Gatz comes wide on Kalinowski. Gatz takes the snake away by Brody Kalinowski, though. Kalinowski got it to Difference. Difference up to Declan Johnston. Johnston over the line, knocked off the puck. Brockerville, it'll come back, Gatz. Two on two. Gats puts this one in deep. Gathered here by the captain, Angletwit. Angletwit got it to Brett Marsolier. Marsolier up the far side. Johnston knocked off the puck neatly. Jacoby over to James Lee. Is here come the Padoka Stampeders. Here's Jacoby up top. Colton Myers steps into one block. Myers has it back. Myers knocked off the puck, but he keeps with it. Myers in front. Jordan Jacoby high and wide. Tied up down low is Padoka. Has a little bit of pressure here on the Red Deer Vipers in the offensive zone. Now here with it, this is Jordan Jacoby. Jacoby knocked off the puck. He will catch up to it back to the line. Dakota Sullivan. Sullivan in deep into the corner. Jacoby. Jacoby's got it. Spins away from a check. Knocked out. And that will give the Red Deer Vipers some much needed reprieve here. But Myers got it right back over to Jordan Jacoby. Jacoby to Myers. Stopped by Bilodeau. And Brandon Bilodeau says enough of that. And he's going to hang on. 39 seconds to go here in the opening frame. Red Deer going out with their top line for the final couple of seconds here. Wilson, Wilson Linnell, and LaPointe. It is now Sullivan got it up to Logan Linnell. Linnell starts away from his man. Got it up to LaPointe on the far side. LaPointe hits the trailer. Linnell who puts it wide of the net. Try to pick the blocker side corner, but he just missed it. Final seconds coming off the clock. Brendan Scott is knocked off the puck. That will do it. Brendan Scott, young uh, older brother, excuse me, of Red Deer Viper forward Nick Scott. Both of whom find their way into the lineup tonight. Connor Sullivan rang it off the post. There's another post seconds after that. But then a little bit later, right after that sequence, it was Brett Hoppus, the only goal of the game. one nothing Red Deer through 20. Welcome back inside the service arena. Second period about to get underway here. And the Vipers win the draw. Here is Brody Kalinowski. Kalinowski tried to center that one, couldn't. It will come to Jordan Sears instead. Here's Kevin Straw. Now to Jacob Saylor. Saylor starts out through center. Saylor, he's knocked off the puck over there to help out. Brody Kalinowski, after a uh, defense partner, Dalton Engeltwit, knocked him off the puck. Now here's Linnell to Kale LaPointe. LaPointe will start back the other way. Kale LaPointe. Right in over the line, taken away here by Jordan Sears. Sears retreats back into his own zone. Tavin Straw, uh, Ka uh, excuse me, uh, Casey Straub. Now comes now to Higgins. Higgins shoots it. Glove save, Philadelphia, and he will hold on to that. Nate Higgins, for a very long time, was uh, just the pr uh, one of the only bright spots in that Pinocchio lineup. Pinocchio, uh, however, it should be noted is an organization that came leaps and bounds since I started in the league. I was literally talking about this with a buddy the other night. It was not that long ago where, you know, one or two wins was considered a great year for the Pinocchio Stampeders. Now they're regularly winning 10 a year, and uh, 
got some pieces there, and that uh, really all started. Nate Higgins, I think, was their first real recruit that uh, certainly would have been a top six forward on any team in the league. Here come the Pinocchio Stampeders in. Now a one-timer far side. Good stop by Brandon Billado on Kelly, and he will hold on to that. Face off coming to the left side of Bilodeau. And this draw will be won and controlled by the Red Deer Vipers. Hoppus gets crushed at center ice. And now here comes Kieran Bullock. Bullock through center. Knocked off the puck. And now it's Chopek up to the far side. Drew Joslin. Joslin to the near side. Here comes Kieran Bullock again. Bullock in over the line. Bullock knocked off the puck there by Jamie and Chopek. Chopek now will come out. Chopek knocked off the puck, but he's got it right back. Damian Chopek drops off Zerubiak. Zerubiak lost it. Kingwell puts it back into the corner. Sharp angle shot there. And it goes off the side of the goal. Brandon Brockerville will come back out for the Pinocchio Stampeders up to Shea Reynolds. Reynolds lost control of it. Now here comes Declan Johnston back the other way. Johnston to Zerubiak. Zerubiak trying to go back up front for Declan Johnston. Couldn't get it there, though. And the puck will be covered up. Five minutes and 42 seconds gone here in this second period. Big hit there by Walker Guthrie. But no worse for the wear, it appears. It is Brett Hoppus. So Lane Sim, uh, I think we can all but confirm he's done for the evening. Good news, Laner, is uh, it's not an actual season mode. And your head could have literally exploded on the ice, but you would have been back in the lineup next game. So that's uh, a plus. Probably won't have that won't work that way for playoffs though. Here's Drew Joslin. Joslin coming in, knocked off the puck. Joslin uh, knocked Lee. Now it's going to come Marsolier. Marsolier. There's a Rubiac. Good stop by Machetti on the near side. Just about seven minutes gone here in the second period. Still one nothing Red Deer. Red Deer has carried the majority of the play. Draw one by Wilson. Right out front, Kayla Point shooting. Machetti makes the same again. LaPointe right in the kitchen there with Brendan Scott. Red Deer's got their top line out there against this fourth line for Pinocchio. See if they can take advantage of a, a home ice in the line match here. Here's a chance from a ways out in Wilson. Tried to go upstairs, but a good save by Robert Machetti. Another whistle here, and it will come back over to the far side. Still, first versus fourth line. I guess Pinocchio trusts these guys to shut down Red Deer's number one unit. Back to the line, it's Brett Marsolier. Marsolier couldn't uh, get that one through. Now Sullivan right in front. LaPointe couldn't get a shot away. Wilson right there. He put it just wide. I think that might have banged off something and gone into the corner. Now here comes Scott back the other way. Scott neatly knocked off the puck. Back comes Wilson in transition for Red Deer. Wilson in the corner. Puts this one in behind the net. Linnell up top. Dalton Angle Twit. Angle Twit got a shot away, but it rolls harmlessly instead to Robert Machetti, and he will hang on to that. Eleven minutes, twelve seconds are gone here in the opening frame. In the sorry second period, 16 to four, Red Deer wins is leading in draws, and they'll win that one. Here's LaPointe, shot save, rebound. Wilson poked off his stick. Lanier a shot save. We're spinning and firing. Wilson couldn't get one to the net. Red Deer, bang, really pressing here for that two nothing lead. Here comes Sailor over the line. Sailor take it away. Angle Twitz got it now, right in front of the goal. Giving up to Jackson Goodall. Goodall over to the near side. Joslin. Joslin through center, knocked off the puck. It'll come now to Walker Guthrie. Now to Jacob Saylor. Saylor will put this one in deep. Comes now to Brody Kalinowski for the Red Deer Vipers. Got it to Goodall. Goodall stretch pass for Nick Scott. Scott over the line. Scott into the middle. One-timer stop on Goodall by Machetti. Machetti makes the glove save, and he hangs on. Again, uh, Pinocchio in a game, and they can look right at their goaltender for the reason why Robert Machetti made multiple big saves thus far. 
This draw will be won and controlled by the Red Deer Vipers. Here's Chopek. Chopek to Difference. Difference. Looking to get a shot away. Turned over as the Stamps can't clear. Johnston holds the line into the middle. That's Chopek. D to D trading with Kingwell. Johnston shooting. Glove save. Machetti again. And he will hang on. The second line uh, got uh, lines got kind of jumbled there for Morical and company when they lost the first time out. And since then, it's been Brett Hoppus with Declan Johnson and Matt Difference, and the lines have stayed the same. They've lost since then, but it was an overtime defeat to Airdrie, which uh, Airdrie pretty good on this game, so you you probably take that with a grain of salt. Um, Red Deer probably could have won that game, uh, but of course. Uh, that's, you don't win all, every game you lead in. That's just the way it goes. Long shot, now Difference had it gloved down on him, held on to by Machetti. Still seven and a half minutes to go here in the second period. A little later on today, we'll get to the schedule in a second. Here is uh, James Lee, a block shot. As the evening games roll on on our Monday night, Mountain View will take on three hills. That game will be at 7 o'clock. That game is in three hills. Over to the far side, here comes Drew Joslin now. Joslin knocked off the puck. Joslin still has it. Joslin right in front. Great save by Robert Michetti. And he will hang on to that. It'll be interesting to see what three hills does there on back-to-backs with the goaltender. Uh, Greg Poles has been great. Um, you'd probably want to avoid running the wheels off them, but um, it is the Mountain View Colts that Three Hills has got to play. So we'll see what happens here. I mean, that's what we're, we ran into with Pinocchio here. Robert Machetti is the undoubted number one, but he played yesterday in Sylvan Lake. So they start him here against Red Deer. I'd imagine Jeff Durant's going to have to get the pipes at some point. This puck gets put in deep here by Red Deer. James Lee's got control for the Vipers over to the near side. Yeah, good body check there. And loose, it will come in their own zone. The Stampeders still have it. This is Clay Guthrie, chased back by Goodall. Into the middle is Lee. And now out comes Kelly for the Stampeders. Kelly knocked off the puck. Scott over to the far side, Joslin. Joslin now to Goodall. 4.20 to go here in this second period. Still 1-0 for the Red Deer Vipers. Here comes Drew Joslin. Joslin knocked off the puck. Will go over to the far side for Kieran Bullock. And now here comes Casey Straw. Straub through center. Straub, he's going to be chased down by Angleton. Now Reynolds right in front. Good save by Billado. Here come the Red Deer Vipers with speed. Kale LaPointe. LaPointe over the line. LaPointe looking in front. Couldn't find anybody. Now Wilson to Liddell. A great opportunity. But a kick save made by Machetti. And back come the Stampeders. Is poked away. Now Linnell back with speed. Maybe an odd man rush for Red Deer. Linnell stops up into the middle. One timer by Wilson. Stopped by Machetti. And he will hang on. Tomorrow we'll have the Rocky Rams and Stetler. That at 530. Sylvan Lake travels to the Ron Emerson to battle the Airdrie Thunder. That at 7 p.m. 2.20 to go in the second period. Still just a one nothing Viper lead. Jacob Saylor comes through center. Saylor, he's got a two-on-one now. Saylor into the middle, shooting, poked off the stick by Bellano. A good aggressive play by the Red Deer goaltender. And now here come the Red Deer Vipers through center, but they turn it over. Austin Ancion on the near side. Ancion looking in front. Can't find anybody. Trying to dig this one loose. Brody Kalinowski. And tripped up down low is Declan Johnston. Red Deer going to get their first power play of the uh, game. Here is Mac Difference. Difference in over the line. Knocked off the puck. Touched up by Brandon Brockerville. So late in the second, Red Deer will get a power play here. Jordan Sears goes for tripping. So it will carry into the third period. Of course, unless Red Deer scores in the next 40 seconds. Hoffus, Johnston, Yates out there on the man advantage for Red Deer. Kingwell, Kalinowski are the defensemen. There's the draw won by the Vipers. Kalinowski got drilled. And now Colton Myers, he might have had a break, but 
Good uh, job defensively to get back for Kingwell. Well, right in front, Declan Johnson shot, save the rebound. Trying to dig this one loose is Red Deer. Unable to do so is all the way down the ice by Pinoka. That will do it for this period. Kingwell puts this one up the far side boards as the period comes to a close. We go to the third. Red Deer with a 1-0 lead, and they will take some power play time, about a buck 20 worth, into the third period. Well, it's been fun thus far. Let's take a look at some highlights. No goals in that second period. Robert Machetti standing tall. This is one of the few big saves that Pilotos had to make, but one of them nonetheless. Red Deer out shooting Pinoka 17-3. I think that's what I saw. I already forgot. Doesn't matter. Heavily out shooting Pinoka in that second period. As the Vipers will start on a power play here. A chance to put a two-goal lead on the board. Here's Difference. Difference turns this one over, though, to Casey Straub. Straub knocked off the puck back into the Pinocchio zone. Walker Guthrie turns this one over, but he's able to knock this one away from danger. And the Stampeders send it the full 200. Back to get this one is Dalton Angle Twit. Angle Twit turned it over. Guthrie shoots it. Glove save. Billado. Billado keeps it alive to Kale LaPointe. LaPointe starts out through center. What a move by LaPointe. Into the middle difference. Difference tried to fire that one, but it got blocked and all the way down the ice again by the Pinocchio Stampeders. Down at 20 seconds. The power play time remaining for the Red Deer Vipers. Here comes Aiden Wilson. Wilson knocked off the puck. Comes to Dalton Angle. Twit gains the line. Wilson tries to center that one. Can't. We're back to five on five, but Red Deer still got possession. Kale LaPointe wheels down the far side boards. Knocked off the puck there by Walker Guthrie. His brother Clay in there to help out as well for the Stampeders. Over to Casey Straub. Straub in the middle. It's going to come back to Straub. Straub. It won timer in front. Couldn't get all of it. Jordan Sears has it now. He's out of the penalty box. 17 and a half to go here in the third period. Sears, it's a Straub. Straub, take it away from him by Logan Linnell. Linnell with speed, attacking on the near side. Up top, down the angle to it, shoots. Saved by Machetti. Angle to it, he's been snake bitten thus far. I don't think he's recorded a point yet. And you know that's not gonna last. Dalton Angle to it, I'd probably say the most gifted defenseman I've ever seen play in the HGHL. Anytime you play in the Alberta Junior League as a 17-year-old, I think you're pretty good. Over to the far side, Kalinowski. Drew Joslin now spinning and firing upstairs. What a great glove save by Machetti. If Pinoka finds a way to will one into the Red Deer goal, Robert Machetti should be credited with that goal, to be quite frank. Here's Joslin now off the draw. Zerubiak through traffic. Blocker save Machetti again. Now here's Yates. Right up front. Joslin shoots it. It gets blocked. Drew Joslin up top to Yates. Yates now into the corner. Joslin. Joslin tried to go across. It comes to look, angle to it. Now to Kalinowski. Red Deer holds the line. Joslin. Zerubiak. Yates shoots. Stopped by Machetti again. 15.35 to go in the third period. Still plenty of time here, and it's just a one-goal lead for Red Deer. Johnston out there with Hoppus and Difference. And Johnston won the draw. Now to the near side, Hoppus! A drive and a stop by Machetti again. Hoppus is the only Red Deer goal, the only goal of the game, period. Face off now to the right side of Robert Machetti. One cleanly by the Stamps, and they will come out. Here comes Bullock down the right wing. Put it on, put it in deep. Kelly rims that around to Dakota Sullivan. Sullivan, now Higgins. Here's Kieran Bullock. Bullock can't get a shot away. Block, backhander. Stopped by Billado. He had to be sharp there. As that puck came out of a crowd, Billado gloves it down and holds on. Face off to Brandon Billado's left. He's made 12 saves. Yes, here's Dakota Sullivan through traffic. Another good stop by Billado. Only 12 shots. Two date for the Pinocchio Stampeders in this one. 
And Bilodeau stopped all of them. Now here's Higgins, another stop by Bilodeau, this time with the blocker. Red Deer under a little bit of duress here from Pinoka in their own zone. It's going to come now to Damian Chopek. Chopek will start out on the near side. Chopek takes it over the line, but uh, he's knocked off the puck. That'll force uh, Red Deer to be offside. And we will get a whistle. So next action for these two clubs. Pinoka travels to Airdrie on Thursday. Red Deer is in Mountain View on Friday night. Draw one, here's Marsolier, now to Brett Hoppus. Hoppus in over the line. Hoppus, centering pass, it will go, somehow that goes all the way back into the Pinoka bench. This face off, it's, I guess off of Stampeder because it's gonna, gonna keep it in deep. Wilson on the draw against Nate Higgins. 13 minutes to go in the third. And the draw won cleanly by Higgins of the Stampeders control in their own zone. Knocked off the puck. Here is Braden Plessens. Plessens through center, not uh, through uh, his own zone. Knocked off the puck rather hard. Now here's Jordan Sears. Sears up to Brandon Brockerville. Brockerville knocked off the puck. Brockerville still on it. Still out front. There's Higgins point blank. Stop by Billado. Great stop by Brandon Billado. Face off to the right side of Billado here. One by the Vipers. It's going to come to Connor Sullivan. Sullivan up the far side board. Scale the point. The point. He puts this one up to Aiden Wilson now. Wilson in the high slot. He shoots it. That's a good stop by Michetti. Rebound clear. Here's Caden Gatz. Gatz poked off his stick. Jordan Jacoby's got it. Jacoby, he puts it into his own zone for his captain, Austin Ancion, through center. Ancion now to Brockerville. Brockerville upstairs. He put it high and wide. Now Marsolier to Drew Joslin. Joslin, Tristan Zerubiak. Zerubiak, he's got a man in the net. Zerubiak tried to get it to Yates. Now Sullivan, a drive. Great save, Machetti. Sullivan, he's got it again. Zerubiak shoots it. That got blocked. Zerubiak's got it back. All kinds of pressure for Red Deer. Sullivan down the wall. Drew Joslin. Zerubiak looking for Yates in front. He was tied up. Yates to Zerubiak and drive. Blocker save coming across Michetti. Here come the Stampeders back the other way. Caden Gatz. He comes in offensively. Comes down to Bullock. Bullock in front to Gatz. Gatz, one timer score. Shea Reynolds. And we talked about it all game. The stellar play of Robert Machetti would allow something like this maybe to happen. No chance for Billado there. A tired Red Deer group was buzzing in the offensive zone. And Pinoka on a rush the other way caught him. Shea Reynolds snaps a one-timer up over top of Billado. And the Pinoka Stampeders, the pesky stamps have tied this thing up with 8.55 to go. Red Deer, of course, uh, you know, it, with it being a three-point system, overtime wins with one less point. You had Airdrie on the ropes on Friday night, didn't get it done. You went to overtime against Three Hills, a team you probably shouldn't do that against, although Three Hills has been uh, a thorn in everybody's side. So maybe you don't uh, look at it that way, but at the same time, you know, regulation wins are important this year. And Red Deer now with eight and a half to go. I mean, it's certainly not going to uh, sink you. But if Red Deer has their sights set on a first round bye, which they always do, uh, you know, regulation wins going to have to come at some point. And there's Brett Hoppus snapping it upstairs. He scores. Brett Hoppus two. Pinocchio Stampeders one. What a shot by Brett Hoppus. Absolute roof job. Under the bar on Robert Machetti. Brett Hoppus. Gives the Red Deer Vipers. A two to one lead here with under eight minutes to play. That's his second of the game. 
And maybe, I don't know, maybe they heard me talking about it. <laughs> Regulation wins being a port, but now here's a chance on the, right in the slot there. That was Brendan Scott looking to tie it up back on his hometown team. Nick Scott out there against older brother Brendan on the draw. Who's going to win this one? So, Nick, cleanly. <laughs> saw Brendan give him a little shot. Didn't love that one. It's now here is Drew Joslin on the near side. Dug loose by Clay Guthrie. Six and a half to play in the third period. Tied up. It's going to be knocked into the far side corner. Dakota Sullivan got it to Brendan Scott. Scott will put this one in deep. It's going to be gathered here by Keegan Kingwell. Kingwell, he's chased back in behind his own goal. Kingwell still with it. Got it up to Damian Chopek. Chopek up to Drew Joslin. Joslin, he's on it now for Red Deer. Joslin right out front. He lost control of it. And now this will come back the other way. Nate Higgins for Pinoka. Higgins in over the line. Five minutes to go here in the third period. 2-1 Red Deer. Aiden Wilson with speed. Gives up to Goodall. Goodall's got a man in the net. It's Joslin. Joslin couldn't get a shot away. Sears comes back and takes it away and back the other way for the Fanoka Stampeders. That's Jordan Sears. Knocked off the puck. It comes to Brody Kalinowski in the corner. Trying to dig this one loose. Red Deer will. Kalinowski now on the far side boards. Got it to kill a point. The point trying to come in over the line on the far side. Higgins a good job. He's knocked down there. And now here comes Kayla Point for Red Deer. Aiden Wilson. Wilson stops up. Right in front to Liddell. Great save made by Machetti. 3.20 to go here in this third period. Back to the line. Kingwell, the point. Wilson shoots it. Blocker save Machetti. That ain't going to help you. Shea Reynolds. You got the one the Pinocchio goal today. Yeah, yeah, that's a little too much. Reynolds goes to the penalty box for interference. That does not help the cause here for the Pinocchio Stampeders down, to, down a goal with three minutes to go. And now they have to kill a penalty. Glove down by Angle Twit. Comes down to Brett Hoppus. He's got a two goals. Looking for the Hattie. But there's Declan Johnston. A shot good stop by Machetti out at the top of his crease. Makes the save, 2.44 to go. Face off, left side of Robert Machetti here. Here's Johnston in the battle. Johnston, a backhander, good save, Machetti. I don't think Johnston got everything he wanted to on that one. All the way down the ice, gathered here by Dalton Angle Twit. Angle Twit now up to Brett Hoppus. Hoppus over the line offensively for the Red Deer Vipers. Hoppus to the line, Angle Twit shooting! That one goes high and wide. Brendan Scott knocked off the puck neatly by Hoppus. Yates shoots, scores upstairs! Spencer Yates, second of the year, it's 3-1 Red Deer! Power play goal! Third point of the night, Brett Hoppus gets the assist. As look at this feed, Brett Hoppus finds Yates in soft ice and look at the shot. Absolute beauty by Spencer Yates. Red Deer's got a 3-1 lead. And that should put this thing on ice and get the Vipers their coveted three points in the standings. As a draw we at one here by the Vipers and put in deep. Walker Guthrie puts this up the near side. Stan Peters control. Brandon Brockerville. Brockerville tied up. Hoppus dug it loose. Angle took to the far side. Kalinowski now Mac Difference tied up in down low. Approaching the final minute. Difference comes out from behind the goal with it. Up the near side boards. Angle twit. There's Brett Hoppus. Hoppus puts this into the middle. Gats is stripped up. And Red Deer will go to the penalty kill here as the Pinocchio Stampeders gain the line offensively. Is out of the net for the extra attacker because of the delayed call is Machetti. I suspect he would be out of the net anyway. This is now touched up finally by Declan Johnston. Tripping is the penalty call on Mac Difference. So Pinocchio, a late power play here, down by a couple. So, I mean, you get one early on the power play, get one quick, and maybe you got a chance here. 40.9 seconds to go in the game. 
Scott and Goodall out there on the penalty kill. Vipers win the draw. And that is not what you want if you're the Pinocchio Stampeders. Now it comes up to Kelly. Kelly through center. He's going to step around Angle Twit. Angle Twit steps up and pace him. And now holds up Kelly along the far side. Battle ensues. Trying to dig this one loose is Scott. Sears trying to take it out. Can't. Scott will clear. And that certainly uh, will do it for the game as far as that's concerned. Uh, we'll just uh, wait and find out what the final ends up being. Here's Sears now. Sears shoots it. Gloves save Villano. And he will hold on to that. Six and a half seconds to go. Red Deer going to win this one. Likely a 3-1 final. Thirty-one, thirteen. Red Deer just caved the stamps in on draws. Down the ice. Three-one will be your final. Red Deer wins it. Viper victory on a Monday night. Brandon Billado and company celebrate a win here. And the Red Deer Vipers will now go to 2 one one and one on the new campaign. That will put them, uh, what would that be? Well, that would be, well, they had three, <laughs> six, seven. So that'll get them with 10 points. And uh, as of right now, as of this moment, Red Deer tied for first. So you see what those regulation wins can do for you in the North Division, jumping from fifth to first is the Red Deer Vipers win at 3-1 over the Pinocchio Stampeders. However, they do have one more game played than literally everybody else. Mac Difference, he is your third star with one assist on the uh, evening. Brandon Billado makes 18 stops in the Red Deer crease. He is your second star and your first star should be no doubt about it. Brett Hoppus, two goals and an assist. A point on every Red Deer goal, including scoring the game winner. This is the Brett Hoppus goal on the power play. That's what sealed the deal, really, for Red Deer late in this one. Thanks for tuning in. We'll get you a quick look at the scoring summary. Red Deer opens a scoring uh, just over halfway through the first period. Declan Johnston, Mac Difference on the assist. Uh, as Brett Hoppus uh, scores to make a 1-0 Red Deer. No goals in the second. Shea Reynolds ties it up for Pinocchio at 11.05 in the third. Caden Gatz and Kieran Bullock get the assist. Brett Hoppus, an unassisted goal at 12.02, uh, just under a minute later, uh, puts Red Deer back on top. And then Spencer Yates at 17.59, a late power play goal. Excuse me, from Brett Hoppus. Brings this game to its final 3-1 Red Deer. As uh, Red Deer now shoots Pinocchio every period, 11-7, 14-3, and then 14-9 for a 39-19 total. So the 3-1 score, pretty flattering to the Pinocchio Stampeders, if you ask me. But nonetheless, Red Deer, uh, like I said earlier, you probably wanted just a confidence builder. One where you score maybe five or six and blow it open a little bit. They don't get that, but they get... Ultimately, what matters? Three points in the North Division standings at HCHL 21. Make sure you stick around because at 7 p.m., the Mountain View Colts are in three hills, taking on the Thrashers as Mountain View wants to reclaim top spot in the North. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you at 7.